construction operations are connected to logistics, where the materials that need to be delivered to the site or plant and equipment that needs to be used safely, precision in logistics is key. In off-site construction, when we talk about logistics, most often we mean the transportation method from the factory to the building site, as well as management of the factory supply chain. The main difference between off-site and traditional construction and logistics is the size of the components that need to be delivered to the building site. For example, steel frame elements for high-rise or infrastructure projects can have large lengths, whereas volumetric systems tend to have large widths. With precast components, the weight of the load can be a limiting factor. When designing for logistics, you should consider transportation constraints for the specific off-site system, load restrictions, site access and circulation, and lifting and handling operations. The earlier in the design stage that these factors are considered, the better. Logistics and off-site construction can bring several benefits, including reduction of deliveries to sites, just-in-time management, and alternative transportation methods. Off-site construction systems with high levels of enhancement, such as closed panels or volumetric, typically lead to a reduction in the number of vehicle movements to site. This is because instead of transporting all the materials separately to the building site, they are all pre-assembled in the off-site components in the factory and then delivered to site as one piece. This can lead to social sustainability benefits with reduced disruption to the local area. Another benefit is just-in-time delivery, where off-site components are transported from the factory to the building site at the exact time they are needed for on-site placement and assembly. It is important to load them so that the sequence of arrival to site matches the assembly sequence. In this way, the components can be lifted and assembled directly from the back of the truck, removing the need for on-site storage. With projects close to a port or a dock, off-site construction can offer the benefits of using water transport instead of road transport. Logistics via ships have inherently lower carbon emissions than transportation by road. This is especially useful for remote locations such as the Isle of Wight or the Scottish Islands in the UK. Ship transportation also offers increased opportunities for exports to destinations of the likes of Norway or New York, supporting the Construction 2025 target of increased construction exports. When designing for logistics and managing logistical operations for off-site construction, challenges can also be encountered. One of the most critical challenges is managing the factory supply chain. Off-site manufacturers tend to customize their products to clients' requirements. The selected insulation materials, sheeting materials and finishes often vary from project to project. And all of the materials for the product need to be in the factory to enable the start of manufacturing. So you see how it can be challenging to control the factory supply chain in these circumstances, considering the different leading times for each product. Another challenge is the secure transport of the off-site components from the factory to the building site without any damage. Obstacles as simple as branches near the road could penetrate the outer membranes of volumetric units, for example. The movement during transportation and lifting can also cause some defects, cracking of plasterboards or damage from moisture in rainy weather. This is why lifting and handling operations should be planned out carefully. A couple of things to bear in mind in off-site construction logistics are the regulation differences between standards and abnormal loads and the need for careful planning of the transportation route. You will likely be familiar with the typical sizes of heavy goods vehicles or HGVs in the UK. Offsite components are typically transported on multi-axle lorries with width of 2.55 meters. Loads with width up to 2.9 meters, that is, with a 300 millimeter projection on each side of the lorry, are normal loads and can be transported without police notice. In addition, normal loads need to be below 44 tons in weight and 18.65 meters in rigid length. Abnormal loads are those that exceed these parameters and have different levels of notifications and escorting requirements depending on their size. You should also bear in mind that transport regulations are often changed and refer to the Road Vehicles Construction and Use Regulations 1986 for any updates. Transport regulations and the enforcement can also differ between England, Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland. 
So if your project involves transportation between these areas, you should pay special attention to planning your route and travel times. One of the main challenges in deciding the route is managing obstacles, such as bridges. On the motorway network, bridges, signs and others are typically constructed with a clearance of at least 5 meters. You should not take this for granted on your chosen route and instead you should always do a test drive to prevent any damage along the way. With the advancement of technology, it is anticipated that such planning could be done in a virtual reality environment. The route and any obstacles could be scanned with a mobile point cloud scanner to create an accurate model of the route and all its obstacles. Digital design and simulation software could then be used to ensure that off-site components are designed and manufactured for ease of transport. We see another future opportunity in communication technology for the more widespread use of tracking of off-site components and the materials used to make them. This can help with controlling stocks in the factory, following the transport vehicle's route, or retrieval of assembly instructions for a specific off-site component. Logistics is a key stage of all off-site projects and it influences the design, factory production and site operation. Transport regulations and sizes of the loads need to be considered more carefully for off-site components than for loose materials delivered directly to the building site. Some key advantages of logistics in off-site construction are reduced vehicle movements to site and the opportunity to use just-in-time deliveries to the building site. Challenges can include transport regulations for different loads in different parts of the UK, as well as the detailed planning of the travel route from the factory to site. In the future, we think we will see more use of point cloud scanning and barcode tracking in logistics for management of off-site construction. You are now off-site ready with